Hi Taurus, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. For those of you that are new, welcome, and if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you back. All right, we start off with the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So walking away from something that just doesn't sit right with you anymore. For some of you, you don't even know why. You're just kind of like over it. You're walking away from what no longer serves you and you're walking into happiness, stability. Some of you, you might've just been living like day to day, really not really thinking about your future, not really thinking about long term, right? Others of you, this may be what you need to ask yourself. Like the person that you're with, do you see yourself being with them forever? The job that you're in, do you see that making you happy forever, making you the amount of money that you want to make? making big life decisions. Some of you felt like you're going through a transition where you felt like you were drowning and nobody would give you a hand to now being in a position where you're able to give someone else a hand. And you're gonna go about it in the way that you wished you had it as you grew up, as you went through life, as you got to this point in life. There's a huge turning stone for you, Taurus. A huge one. The devil. Some of you, the answers are going to be revealed. Breaking free from a long-term relationship. Whether it's the breakup or it's, you know, years or months or weeks after the breakup and you're now finally able to like fully release this and move forward. The voice that tells you you can is suddenly becoming stronger than the voice that told you that you couldn't. You are really standing in your power. You have become a lot more self um, aware and it is gonna be proven. It's gonna be put into action as this month um, comes towards us. You will be tempted, you will definitely be tempted. There will be temptations, but it's something that you can't handle. It's something that you haven't already um, got through and gone through in the past as long as you remember the lessons that you were taught as these circumstances are placed in your life again you know it may not be in the form of the same person teaching you the same lesson but there will be circumstances that come up again and you already have the answers within so the you know the initial instinct would be to panic and start looking without everywhere for the answer but a lot of the times the answer is already within us you're tapping into that ability. The Ten of Wands, two tens. It's all about release, releasing but also like, in a sense, like accepting, right? You weren't able to release before because you weren't accepting, you weren't, you were avoiding, you weren't seeing the truth, you weren't seeing the light, you weren't seeing the mirror. Somebody could have been mirroring you, you weren't seeing it. You were seeing all their faults, but not how their faults are similar faults that you've had in your life. You won't be able to have rose colored glasses in situations with <clears throat> others or with yourself through the month of December. So be very honest, Seven of Cups. You will see how many options you have. You will see how many doors that you were, like you will see how many doors you were blocking yourself from actually walking through. You'll see the bigger part of your purpose and being here and, and why you had to go through the things that you've gone through. It will all make sense. I'm hearing for some of you, it's like whatever you've been questioning why the longest, <clears throat> whatever answer you've been seeking the longest is gonna come to you. All of these aces, it's definitely about crystals, it's about grounding it's about earth it's about you know water and water energy even um but like even just rocks like you know some of the lakes that have rocks by them some of the beaches that have rocks like just putting your feet in those rocks anything like that is definitely going to be 
like that's the energy that you need, the element that you need. Going for hikes in the woods, being around animals, just being in nature, being in wildlife. This is how you stay grounded throughout this month. I would definitely recommend 100% black tourmaline this month for you guys. Yes. And the one that I have, which is perfect because earth, the sage, and then also the black tourmaline, I have sage ones now. So all the information for these will be in the description box below. But also this one, the lusty rose one with the obsidian would be so good for you guys too. And then also these little selenites. Some of the wands come with them, so don't get this if you already are gonna get a wand, but another thing I'm seeing for you guys is the blue adventuring. Okay. So many, so many though, but like use one at a time. Or, you know, when you get crystals, if you get them anytime throughout December, like each one that you get, give it a specific, you know, you're gonna use it for only a certain thing and make sure you remember, like write it down. Just for the ones in December. Also though, this could be gifting crystals though, gifting to people that you know are getting interested in and things like that though, like this could be a great gift for you. Um, to give or to give somebody any sort of gift that has to do with the element of earth. Some of you, you're just going to realize that that's your ultimate, like, that's just the easiest way for you to manifest. Not easiest, but it just comes more natural to you. Whoa. Okay. Ten of Swords. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So justice in the reverse. So there's something here about like failed efforts. This could be somebody that just truly wasn't ready to like match your energy, match your intention. Somebody who wasn't truthful. Some sort of situation here. Um, it's either coming to an end or you're realizing that it's come to an end. You're definitely very confused about the situation and it's not matching energies. You can 100% look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself this person is not matching your energy. Um, and if that's something that you're confused about, this is saying that that's coming to an end. Um, yeah, because there's been signs pointing to this, showing you this for a while now. This person doesn't have the best intentions. The Ace of Cups, the Two of Swords, because they're still tied to somebody from the past. Some of you were in like a third grade situation you didn't realize you were um regardless though i do feel like once you like move forward from this there will be new love in your life here um possibly a water sign could be a libra could be a capricorn i do feel like you are being called to move into a new direction though regardless of what's happening it's like everything new will be in more alignment for you yeah, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So long-term fulfillment, long-term satisfaction. You are growing something right now, whether it's inside of you, whether it's around you, whether it's surrounding you, whatever it is, you are, there's a huge shift. I am just seeing this energy though, this is so strong about like being around water, or being near mountains. I'm hearing like a treasure hunt. Maybe you and some friends are gonna create a treasure hunt or something like that. This could be, you know, something adventurous that you've always wanted to do as a child that you never had the experience of doing. Coming together with people and doing it or doing it just for yourself. There is this energy of like bonding, like also like bondage in a sense when it comes to like family. So like getting closer with your family, um, those of you that are in long-term relationships, building a family, growing a family for yourself, 
this could be marriage, this could be renewal of vows for some of you as well. For others of you, this is a fresh start with somebody from the past. For the majority of you, it's like, ask yourself, is it worth it? Because for a lot of you, it really isn't. Like, maybe there's one of you in here where this could be worked out, but for a lot of you, the past energy is just like, you just have to see your worth and realize for yourself. Okay, let's see. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the sun and the chariot. So I definitely feel like um, this year coming up, July and August are going to be your best months. We have unrequited love in reverse. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to oh, keep this relationship going. So what it looks like here is there's like a roles in reverse situation. Somebody that, like I said before, wasn't giving you attention all of a sudden, now that you're not giving them attention, they want to give you attention. We've heard it all before. So just ignore that. Because the reason why you're seeing them differently and why you're not requiting this love anymore is because you're seeing the truth. There is like a some part for some of you, your ego may want to just like take this for a little ride just to see, don't do it. It's not going to be worth it. Some of you, there's a Cancer or a Leo coming into your life. But I definitely see births of new relationships with people that you haven't yet met, but you most likely will between now and um, probably the end of February. Okay, is there anything else? Any last message? Okay, I was about to leave it. We have you deserve love, you are lovable. Yeah, so like rejection is your highest form of protection. That is literally the energy of this. What's not for you isn't for you because what's for you is gonna shoot right at you and you're not gonna miss it. And even if you do, it'll come right back around for you because it will never be able to not come towards you. It is literally naturally magnetic. It is a Universal, universally de um, designed magnet that only you have the chip to attract. So don't worry. And I feel like you won't be. Like some of you right now, you are like still in this anxious energy, but you will be sliding out of it. So you'll see soon. All right, so that's all I have for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, a 2022 forecast are only available till December 15th. The link is in the description box as well as for crystals and the sage wands. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Take care.